Hey guys, Arthur here coming to you with a video on what's going on in the world of mobile gaming. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notification, and share the video. And also leave a comment in the comment section. That's the most important thing to do, guys, is to leave a comment in the comment section. I like reading your comments, and let's just dive right into the video now. All right. Um, Niantic is giving Monsters Hunter the Pokemon Go treatment. This is a new game that Niantic is, uh, seems like, developing or uh, pushing out now. Capcom and Niantic have announced a new collaboration, Monster Hunter Now, a real-world hunting action role-playing game. It seems like Capcom, seems like Capcom <laughs> has uh, liked and fell in love with what Niantic has envisioned their this game is going to be. Uh, I guess they showed them what it looks like and what it's going to be like. It's going to be like uh, Pokemon Go, I guess. A uh, Monster Hunter Now, a real-world hunting action role-playing game for mobile devices which combines an accessible version of classic Monster Hunter gameplay with augmented reality framework familiar from Niantic's smash hit Pokemon Go. Um, it's, it's the only hit that they have hit, and that is because of a very great fan base. A long-lasting fan base that is now dealing with some turmoil when it comes to that game. Uh, let's just—it's uh, due out in September on Android and iOS platforms, with a beta test beginning on April 25th. Registrations for the beta test is open at the Monster Hunter Now website. So it's like a role-playing game, like basically a quest to fight monsters. And it's revolt. Oh my God, this is not going to be another success. Uh, Niantic Monster Hunter now players will be able to find monsters and materials out in the real world as they walk around with their phones. Like, like the way they present it, it's awesome. It's great. You get to play in the real world. You got to go outside. You got to battle with your friends, but. Um, it sounds nice, and and with all the roses, all the things that they do to tie in nice into a bowl. But are people going to go outside and play for this game? Especially in the climate that we live in right now, especially with like especially in big cities. Big cities have a hike, a lot of crime. <clears throat> As they walk around with their phones, team up with friends and strangers to hunt those monsters and craft weapons um, and armor. Friends and strangers. I can't believe they went... First, your parents were taught you how to not talk to strangers. Now they want... Pe now people want you to meet strangers? Man. The world is different now. The notion of majestic monsters roaming around city streets was extremely compelling as a real-world game Niantic Chief Product Officer Kai uh, Kai Wawi, Waye, said in an online briefing for press. The idea of an augmented reality monster game, Monster Hunter game, was such a no-brainer that Kawaii boasted Capcom accepted Niantic's pitch at their first meeting. The game is being developed at Niantic's Tokyo Studio. It will be free to play, supported by in-app purchases. Yep. Seems like Capcom fell in love with what they were presented. That's what it looks. Uh, it looks like that. Like whatever Capcom saw. Uh, like Capcom, you gotta understand. Um, like, is, are, are people going to go outside and play? Are people, like, the concept of it all, it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing, and it probably looks amazing for you, Capcom, 
and they per gave you everything. They made it look nice and neat and gave it to you in a nice, pretty, decorative bow. And the thing is, is it going to get people to play? And I said this in a video before. The only way augmented reality works is Pokemon. Pokemon is the only thing. You got to go capture the Pokemon. You got to go uh, battle it with it. Yeah, it's it's a nice concept because that's how actually the the game was about in Pokemon is that you can you got to go outside you got to get out of Pallet Town you got to get up out of all these these towns that you start in the actual games in the original games you get out you go adventure and, and the concept for that for augmented reality is nice for Pokemon because you also got to go outside capture the Pokemon adventure. Create, uh, collect data, build up your Pokédex, build up your stats, build up everything, um, build up your XP, everything, everything, all that good stuff only makes sense. All that augmented reality, all that AR makes sense for Pokémon. It doesn't make sense for any other game other than Pokémon. Any other franchise other than Pokémon. We'll see how this will look like. Um, seems like uh, if you haven't watched my video on Marvel and their and their project on the Marvels franchise, and that is Niantic's pr uh, project, another pet project that's already in beta, beta testing, and it seems like a lot of people are not liking it. Is <laughs> like, uh, uh no, 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 no. That's the other. That's the other one that they're doing right now. This year is another beta test. And this one's coming out September. I don't know when the Marvel's coming out. Is it, it seems like they need to work on the Marvel one before that one's really pushed out. That's why they do these beta tests. Um, guys, guys who sign up for this, let me know in the comment section how it's going to be. How this game is going to look like um, in the beta test mode. It's just a beta. I know it looks... The looks are not going to... The graphics are not going to be that great. They're... The gameplay is not going to be that great. So it's just a beta test. But in, in order to have a, like a great beta test, it has to be at least good enough for people to enjoy to play the game. Um, this is another one. Monster Hunter. I, I don't know how it's going to work. Um, are you going to capture the monster? What What is it? You're ca it's basically like a quest. Are you going into like an adventure mode and questing? It's like, it's like a, a fantasy world. You build your own character. You want to build a, a dwarf, a wizard. Is that what type of game is this? What's it gonna be? Niantic and Capcom touted what they said was a simplified but authentic version of the Monster Hunter series combat using taps and swipes on the touchscreen. So there's a Monster Hunter series. I, I didn't know that. The game will be playable one-handed in portrait mode or in landscape uh, presentation closer to the console and PC Monster Hunter games. Oh, so this is is a game. Uh, uh, this is based on a an actual game. So they made it into that. Is this uh, Capcom? Capcom has Monster Hunter thing? A game called Monster Hunters? Niantic, uh, near, uh, the maximum battle time is just 75 seconds to be suitable for outdoor play. Niantic senior producer Sakai Usami said, and it was the developer's goal to capture all the fun and challenge of Monster Hunter battles in this short window. The series' distinctive gameplay Altering weapon classes remain, but players should uh, expect to be switching between them more frequently. We hope users will try out different types of weapons, said Niantic Tokyo's executive director, Tatsuyo Namura. Nomura. And I guess this is one of the artworks. This is what it looks like. Um... I don't know if this is from the actual Monster Hunter game series or this is uh, what it looks like when it comes to battling an actual monster in um, in AR. <laughs> uh, 
like this looks awesome this, the concept art is awesome and everything it's just are people gonna go outside and play that's the thing when you got a game that you have to go outside and play there's not going to be a lot of people that want to go outside and play, guys. You're going to have some, but you're not going to have a lot of people. The antics, uh, waste spots, local way, uh, points for of internet identified by the antics community, uh, community become resource gathering points in a monster hunter now. While players real world environment is divided into different ecological zone ecological zones with different monsters and materials occurring occurring in each base oh my god dude they want to make you travel you're gonna make you travel to go to each one players can use a paintball item to tag monsters encountered in the real world to hunt at home alone or with friends Alternatively, their cute cat-like Paleco companions can tag monsters with paintballs automatically, even if the app is closed to gather hunts for later. Asked about competitive multiplayer. So, like, you can even bring... Basically, what they said is you can make your own little battle with your friends, I guess. Asked about competitive com uh, multiplayer and potential integration with mainline Monster Hunter games, Yantic said it could couldn't it couldn't couldn't comment, but Kawaii um, encouraged fans to please stay tuned. Yantic has made several attempts to replicate the winning Pokemon Go formula with other properties with limited success. Like Pokemon Bloom, uh, we heard of Wizards Unite, and there seems like to be Marvel, another Marvel game that's probably gonna fail as well. People are not liking the gameplay that though they're using the beta. Like I said, it's just a beta, but in order for people to entice them to play, you gotta make that beta at least decent enough to to play. So they're going into another franchise, which is, I didn't know that until right now, is the Monster Hunter franchise from Capcom. I don't know what, uh, didn't even know there was a Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter isn't a, as famous as Harry Potter, of course not, because I've never heard of this. But the game have steadily increased in sales over the last two decades to the point it has become Capcom's biggest franchise in Japan, where Monster Hunter now is being developed. The series has always been popular and closely associated with hand handheld gaming, and the franchise is arguably better suited to augmented reality gameplay than any other since Pokemon. I, I can see that. I can see that, but Pokemon is dying down as well. Especially with the what's going on with Pokemon Go and there, and what Niantic did to Pokemon Go, which is the remote raid stuff. So, you might see Pokemon Go die, and also this game would die as well. Because, like I said, you, people have to go outside and play in order to play this game. And how many people are going to play? That's the issue. How many people are going to play? How many people are going to go outside and play? Because when you look at gaming, people want to go stay inside and game. That's what people want to do. They want to stay outside and play. When they want to go outside, they want to go outside and have, have some fun and not worry about playing a game. Like You're not going to have a, oh, well, what, what are you doing out here, man? I'm playing a game. I'm playing Monster Hunter now. That's pretty cool. Just like Pokemon Go. This is pretty cool. Like, no, dude, I took you. I, I'm like... Like, some friends will be like, I took you out to come hang out, not to play a game. Well, this is how, this is how I play games. I, I don't know if anybody um, has ever played this game. I think my brother maybe has played it. If it's like a, like in the 1990s, 80s maybe game. If it's like a 90s game, then my brother has played this before. But I've never, I don't think I've ever played this uh, John, uh, this series ever. I've never heard of this series. 
I like the concept of have be, of being in an adventure, a quest to go out uh, to go and defeat monsters, and uh, I don't know if you capture them. It, it, it just you just build up experience or something, and you can look at the the pictures, the concept arts, the arts right here, not the concept art, but the the art play. This, this is what it looks like. You just walk up to the po uh, the po the monster. And uh, I guess challenge it, and then you just swing, I guess, or just tap, just tap, tap or swipe to dodge, to dodge, swipe, tap, uh, to to tap, to attack, just tap, 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 tap. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section. Are you excited for them for Niantic to now take on the project of Monster Hunter? Now, are you excited for Monster Hunter now? Um, are you, are you, are you excited for more projects from Niantic? Hmm? This is, they're going to treat, they said they're going to treat it the same way. And it says it on the title. They're going to treat it the same way as Pokemon Go. And it seems like people are seeing this as like, okay, yeah, this, this is, would be a success the way Pokemon Go was. I don't know how about, about that. Yeah, I'm like. You'll get other. You'll get people to come outside and play. <laughs> come September, you probably have like at least a million or two, or maybe thirty million people coming in and playing. How um, uh, maybe a hundred million people, and then how how long can that sustain itself? Though, how many people are still going to be playing? Not everybody's going to keep on playing. Just like how, like for six months, Pokemon Go was like the height of twenty sixteen. Hype until people start like, man, this game is so easy, it's too easy. I, I want, I need more of a challenge. I could catch all these Pokemon so easy. I mean, it, it's gonna be like that. Maybe it'll be like, man, these po these monsters are so easy to beat. Man, this is so easy. I don't want to play no more. I want to eat something more tougher. Could be like that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, how you feel about Monster Hunter being now. Coming into now the augmented reality realm of gaming. And how do you feel about Niantic being the one that's going to be the one that's putting the project up? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Smash that like. Smash that subscribe button. Share the video. Hit the bell for notifications. And like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about, about this uh, Monster Hunter now. Uh, are you going to sign up for the beta? Are you going to actually download the game when it comes out on around September? Let me know, guys. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thank you for being here. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.